Brothers and sisters, I'm sure you've seen movies in which the characters get possessed by spirits, evil ones, and the spirits taking control. And they make the host say things and, and do things. And of course, it doesn't quite end well for our poor characters. Now, forget movies and novels. We all have something within us that does almost the same thing. Something that forces us to indulge in self-sabotaging or self-defeating behaviors. Things that rational, logical people would never ever do. Well, it's not an evil spirit, of course, but it's something equally spooky, as Professor Snape would say. Now, we come across these a lot when we coach people and, well, trust me, it's weird and it's scary. Now, let me ask you a few questions which will help you do a self-audit to see whether you are possessed with such a spirit. Even though you know you have to finish something important, do you repeatedly, the keyword is repeatedly, put that off and do silly things instead? Do you? Do you? <laughs> are you consistently late to work and though you really want to change it, you are not able to do so? Uh, do you start projects uh, but never finish them? Or is there a dream that you really want to pursue badly, you talk about it, but you never start doing anything about it? Now, did you answer yes to any of these questions? Uh, I bet some of you did. Uh, well then, <laughs> it's a bit shaky. Yeah? Think about goals that you've had for a long time, but never really accomplished. Uh, particular areas where you're putting off making a decision or, or key decisions or something that you frequently fail at for no obvious reasons. You really don't know the reason, yeah? So then, ta da uh, He's active within you, okay? He's haunting you and he's stopping you. Now, who's he or, or she for that matter? Well, it could be a low sense of self-worth. Deep down, you feel undeserving of success or happiness. Now, this belief has possessed you like a spirit. And it doesn't like to be driven away, like all spirits. So it covertly forces you to do things which will make you fail. Yeah? And each time you fail, this belief gets stronger and it grips you harder. But, but this is not fiction, right? So how do you explain such weirdness? This is not a, a ghost story. Well, the concept of cognitive dissonance can shed some light on this mystery. People like to be consistent, so our actions have to be in sync with our beliefs. And when they aren't, we make an effort to line them up again. So if we start to achieve and win and still view ourselves as flawed or worthless, uh, surprisingly, we pull the plug to get rid of the dissonance uh, because if it feels bad to fail, in this case, it feels even worse to succeed. And, and this also helps you to find a scapegoat, you know. Well, if things get in, uh, are not resolved, we can blame the behavior instead of ourselves. And we've seen people do that, yeah. Example, of course she left me, okay, after a relationship breakup, because I was never around. Or, of course I failed the exams. I've heard students say that a lot. Because I barely studied for any exams. The problem is not with me. It's because I didn't do it. But these are lies. If you go down deeper, the truth pops out. Of course she left me because I feel I'm not worthy of love. And then I did things that drove her away. Or, be, or, or of course I failed the exam because I feel I'm incapable of understanding the material, so I didn't study at all. So unless and until you locate the self-sabotaging belief and you change it, you will keep repeating these behaviors blindly. You won't even know that you're doing them, which will strengthen the belief and take you away from your dream. So this is really a really a grave and serious situation. So the question is, how do you exercise that spirit? Yeah? How do you drive it away? That spirit that's compel you to indulge in self-defeating behaviors. Four simple steps. Okay. Number one, pinpoint your pattern. I said simple, not easy. Yeah. As most nasty habits, self-sabotage also has a predictable pattern. Thank God. Yeah. So think back to your previous times when you've self-sabotaged yourself in life or in relationships or in business. At some point, you would typically stop yourself from reaching the next level of success or next level of happiness. So you have to identify that. Okay. Point number two, uh, once you've identified it, please understand the emotions or the thoughts that are leading to that behavior. Ask yourself the following questions boldly and uh, if, if you may, you can write them down. What am I scared of? Why is this scary? Or does my fear outweigh my desire? So keep asking these questions. What am I scared of? What am I scared of? Until you find the root of what's holding you back. That 
little sense of self-worth. And then you challenge these thoughts, okay? How realistic are they? Even if they come true, can I handle them? And you'll find the answer, you can handle them. You can definitely come up with strategies to handle them. So just by working on the behaviors, you cannot make changes in the long term. You also have to identify the emotions and the thoughts that lie behind. And point number three is extremely important. You have to develop some counter self-esteem building behaviors. One is keep telling positive things to yourselves. Okay, one thing that I keep telling myself is Sangeet, you're capable and you have resources. You're capable and you have resources. And then set goals, meaningful goals, break them down. Break them down into 90 minute goals, monthly goals and weekly goals. Revisit them, try to do them consistently. Now, this is the beauty. When you try to achieve and you achieve these small goals, your self-esteem builds up and then you start pushing the spirit away. Point number four is get an accountability partner. Equally important, don't try this battle alone. The best way is to get together with like-minded people. Keep meeting once a month, once in two weeks. Share your stories, your successes, your challenges, and you keep each other accountable. Now, brothers and sisters, it's time to stop holding yourself back and start living the life of your dreams. So please break free from self-sabotage and you'll be operating in your zone of excellence in no time. Let go of that spirit hiding within, lurking within, exercise it and say hello to limitless living. Thank you.